In this problem, we're being asked to find this sum. So the trick is to realize that if we think of this as a sequence, this is an arithmetic sequence. So an arithmetic sequence is one in which each term except the first is obtained by adding a number over and over again. So we're going to use the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. And we're going to use that to find everything we need so that we can use this formula. So this is the formula that will give us the sum. So the formula is n times the first term, which we have, which we know is 7, plus the nth term, which we have, which is 157, over 2. So the only thing we're missing is n, because we know that a1 is 7, and then we know that a sub n is 157. Right, so the last one. The problem is we don't know n. We don't know which one this is in the sum. So what we're going to do is use the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. It says that the nth term is equal to the first term plus that we have n minus 1 times d, where d is the common difference. So the nth term is 157. The first term is 7. And then here we have n minus 1. And it's pretty easy to see that d is 3, right? 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So d is equal to 3. So let's go ahead and, and plug that in. So 157 is equal to 7 plus, let's see, 3 times n is 3n. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So we have 157 equals 7 minus 3 is 4. Then we have plus 3n. Now we can subtract 4, subtract 4. That gives us 153 is equal to 3 times n. So divide by 3, and I think this is going to be like 51. I'm pretty sure it is. I'll just add is 51. So now all we have to do is plug everything into our formula, which is up here. So the sum of the first 51 terms of an arithmetic sequence, that's what this is, right? This is 51 terms of an arithmetic sequence is equal to n, which we said was 51, times a sub 1, which is 7, plus a sub 51, which is a sub n, that's 157. And it's all being divided by uh, 2. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my calculator. So 51 times, whoops, let's see, 51 times 7 plus 157. It's all divided by 2. I got 4,182. That would be the sum that is up here on the screen. So interesting problem. We're originally asked for the sum. We recognize that the terms of the sum are part of what's called an arithmetic sequence. This is the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. And so we have a couple things already. We have a sub 1, we have a sub n, we're just missing n. So then we actually use this formula to find n, and then we go back and plug it into this. So uh, a little bit harder. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.